So Matt, what's what's in your bundle? I, I don't have any bundles. You don't you don't have any JavaScript bundles? I don't I don't write JavaScript anymore. Has JavaScript fatigue finally gotten you? Yeah, that's it. I'm just I'm dead now. What what do you do these days? You just... I, I come and meet you in a coffee shop and get free coffee because like you're any a normal, delightful human being. Like any normal developer. <laughs> I see. Okay, so for everybody else out there working on JavaScript, uh, there's a really cool tool I recently discovered called Source Map Explorer. You can get it on NPM. And this is sort of useful for understanding what is in your JavaScript bundle, what you're shipping down to your users. So, so how is this different from just normal source maps? What does it what what does it give you? It sort of understands your dependency graph and dependency tree. It'll visualize it for you in a okay. nice, nice pleasant way. And, okay, <laughs> so I'm gonna run it against a source map that was generated for one of my vendor bundles um, and just show you what this looks like. So here we've got uh, Chrome open. I've got uh, the source map explorer. Um, dependency graph sort of visualized here. And this is kind of nice because I can take a look at any one part of my graph. Um, so I can see here, all, these are all the different bits and pieces of React that I'm using. Um, I've got React Router over here in the corner, and I can zoom in and out. It's so nice and pretty. <laughs> Um, but I've also got, I can see that, you know, what percentage of my bundle is being taken up by different libraries. Here I can see that, in this case, Firebase is taking up quite a lot of my, my bundle. Um, but I wanted to show you a pro tip that, uh, that I was walking through with David East the other day. So, and, and Source Map Explorer visualizes this quite nicely. So I can actually just require in uh, the pieces of Firebase that um, I'm actually using. So rather than like, the whole massive bundle. Rather than thing. the whole thing. So a yep. few minor changes. Um, I can go and do a new build, and if that all works out, I can show you the before and after, thanks to some movie magic. Now we're going to go and run it against the new vendor bundle, and what we can see now is that A, we've got a much smaller bundle on the whole, but B, we've also changed the look of this graph. So earlier we had a Firebase that's about 304 kilobytes, sort of, that's unminified, unzipped, or anything like that. But it contained database, authentication, storage, and app. Um, I really only need uh, app and database, so I just switched my code over to using those atomic modules. Um, and here you can see that we've actually managed to make our app a tiny bit smaller. Yay. It's uh, 138. Uh, kilobytes before we've minified it and gzipped it. All you need to use this is just the source map. You don't need the original source or anything like that. Uh, it just works on source maps. So no, normally, like for for dev at least, I usually have my source maps on my JavaScript files. Yeah, it's kind of yeah. nice because I guess if you strip stuff out of the actual main source by whatever tooling that then gets accounted for in the source map, yeah. Yeah, nice. there's, um, there's a bunch of different uh, bundle analysis tools that are available. Um, Webpack Bundle Analyzer is another one that's got colorization in place, and it's super sweet. Specific yeah. to Webpack, I think, at the moment, but um, it's also worth checking out. But uh, yeah, tools like this are just great for understanding exactly what you're shipping down to your users. Uh, so it's good to ask yourself what's in your bundle. Oh, I see what you did there. Nice. Yeah. <laughs>